right, so next we're going to be introducing this year's officer team. Okay, so I'll be starting off. I'm Nathan, and I'm a senior at Diamond Bar High School. I've been in Susha for around five years, and some of my hobbies include piano, calligraphy, viola, reading, and sketching. And although we're on an online format this year, um, I still look forward to working with all the officers to make Sushao as rewarding and fun as possible. Hi everyone, I'm Chris and I'm a junior this year. I've been with Sushao for four years now and some of my hobbies are playing the clarinet, biking, reading, listening to music and wildlife photography. I hope to see everyone in person soon. Now I'll be handing it to Melody. Hi, I'm Melody. I'm a current senior at Diamond Bar High School, and I've been in Shusa for around four years now. And some of my hobbies include drawing, reading, baking, journaling, and dancing. And I'm looking forward to working with everyone this year. Hi, everyone. My name is Josephine. Uh, I am a senior at Troy High School, and this is my fourth year with us. And my hobbies include playing the bass clarinet, piano, and berry sax. And I also really enjoy cooking and baking and musical composition. And I'll be handing it off to Timothy, our three in one. Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm a senior currently at Ayala High School. This is my sixth year here in Susal. Some of my hobbies are photography, playing games, and building PCs. And even though we're virtual this year with some um, events like in person, I hope to be able to capture some amazing memories with you guys. Um, hi everyone, my name is Amber Wang and I'm currently a senior attending Troy High School. Some of my hobbies include competitive programming, creative writing, doing puzzles, playing Erhu, driving and reading, primarily um, self-development or fantasy books at the moment. Um, I've been in Susao for six years, but this is actually only my second year with the Inland Susao branch. And I'd like to talk a bit about my experience in Susao. So although I initially joined Susao in seventh grade at my parents' request, um, just now that I was at a different branch at this time, I grew to really enjoy it. Personally, I find that I'm quite privileged, but through Susao, I learned that that was not the case for everybody else. Um, two of my favorite events are being the homeless and food distribution, because we can see firsthand how what we consider a necessity is not readily available for everyone. Um, even after quarantine with online events, I believe that it was still possible to make a difference. Uh, my personal favorite with Inland Susao is teaching English uh, to students in rural Taiwan. Um, my student had an enthusiasm and love for learning that I felt like I just don't see much around school anymore. So I thought it was kind of interesting how there was still so much for us to learn, even if it was kind of learning from someone who was far younger than us. And that side, I'm really excited to meet you guys this year and I hope that we can collectively make this a great year. Unfortunately, Iris won't be able to attend today's orientation, but Iris is one of our secretaries this year. She's a senior at the Orange County School of the Arts, and she's been in Sushao for around three years. Some of her hobbies include reading, creative writing, piano, walking in the sunset, wushu, and being outside. Hi, my name is Harry. I'm currently a senior at Gabrielina High School. My hobbies are gaming and programming, and I'm looking forward to an exciting year uh, on Terra Group Leaders. Hey guys, my name is Jason Chen, and I'm a sophomore at Diamond Bar High School. I look forward to meet, uh, working with you guys. Uh, hi, my name is Cheryl. I am a junior at Troy High School, and I'm excited to work with you all in this next school year. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Patrick and I'm a sophomore at Wanda High School. I'm excited to work with you all this year. Hi everyone, my name is Annabelle Liu and I'm a sophomore at Wanda High School. So I've been in Susao since 8th grade, so this is my third year here and I'd also like to talk about my experience here. So I initially started in 8th grade because I had a lot of free time and I wanted to do more service in my community and thought that Susao was the perfect way to do so. After joining Susa, I have gained and improved on a plethora of useful skills, such as organization, public speaking, and overall becoming a more independent person. 
Before the pandemic, the event that I enjoyed the most was food distributions. Going to Indian Springs High School and putting a smile on the attendees' faces really made my day as I knew that I was truly making a difference. So due to the pandemic, um, events have been limited. So last year, I first took part in TSTT, the Tsusao Tutoring Team. TSTT focuses on teaching English to students in a more rural and remote parts of Taiwan. Teaching the students step-by-step step, improving their English was really a highlight during distance learning for me, and I encourage many of you to join. I'm looking forward to working very closely with you all this year. Uh, hi, my name is Calvin Trong. I'm, a, I'm currently a sophomore at Walnut High School. Uh, I look forward to working with you all this year. Hi, my name is Hanson Liu. I'm a senior at Gabrielina High School. I've been in Susha for three years, and I can't wait to start working with you guys. Hi, I'm Allison. I'm a senior at Ayala High School, and I'm excited to start a new year with you guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel, and I'm a sophomore at Diamond Bar High School, and I look forward to meeting everyone. All right, so now that you guys are going to... Uh, sorry, uh, this is just go like oh. Okay. Should I go back to the previous slides then? Join you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, so um, our second speaker is Sushu Shibu who is the director of the Inland Shusha, uh, or Inland Umpire chapter of Tsuji USA. And like I said before, she attends a lot of our events and she helps out a lot here in Inland Shusha. So everyone, please welcome Tsuji Shibu. Tsuji Shibu, yes. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, 有看到吗周丽师姐你你你没有打开你的 内陆和气的所有的师姑师伯全体的慈少的家人来欢迎今年的新同学生气勃勃然后非常好的口碑然后去复位我们这些卡片所谓慈济的人文的
All right, so now I'm going to give a brief intro to our San Dimas campus. And fun fact, our San Dimas campus is actually the headquarters of Tsuji USA. So um, that's really cool, right? And then um, the, basically there's five main points that we use on this campus. Um, for now, uh, we have our food packing and distribution events, which take place in the cafeteria and uh, recycling station. So on the, in the middle of the map. And then on the, to the left of the map, there's dorm number one. That is where we normally hold our Sunday classes and um, other in-person Tsuji events. At the top is the Tsuji bookstore. Um, that's where you can get your uniforms and um, other Tsuji merch. And then on the right is the gratitude hall. That's where we normally hold our orientations. And now for our general guidelines and policies. Okay, first off is we have two different registration time periods. The first of which technically ends today. Um, we will be extending the deadline slightly to allow for anyone else that wants to sign up after this orientation. In the second semester, the registration time period is from January 1st to January 31st. And keep in mind that the minimum age to register is 13. However, we do make an exception for those of you who have siblings who are already in Sushao. Um, you, those of you who have siblings in Sushao already can join at the age of 12. Um, this year, the payment methods for the registration fee are also slightly different. Um, we have three different ways to, um, to submit your registration fees. So you can either pay by check, Venmo, or Zelle. And this information will be posted through the weekly reminders, which are sent out every Thursday through email. So don't worry about um, you know, copying all of this information down right now. Um, our attendance policy is also slightly different for the online format. Um, so basically the rule is that if you sign up for an event and you find that you cannot attend it, then you have to notify us at least 24 hours before the event. And if you don't notify us 24 hours before the event more than three times, then we'll have to limit your ability to sign up in the future. Uh, and also please report any absences to the Inland Social Gmail. And now I'll be passing the mic off to Amber, who will be talking about the uniform and hair policy. Yeah, so for the uniform, um, it represents Sisao, so most of us wear it to events. Uh, you must wear it to events. And the uniform consists of a light blue Sisao shirt with the Sisao logo on it. And there's uh, white pants that must be fitted appropriately with no ripped jeans or roll up ankle cuffs. And then um, you should have your shirt tucked inside your pants. And that will be secured with the Tsisao belt, uh, Tsuji belt. And um, you'd also wear white socks and uh, blue sock covers when you're indoors. And when you're outdoors, you wear white shoes. And on colder days, please wear a navy blue Tsuji sweater instead of um, a normal hoodie. Um, in regards to hair, guys should have hair out of their face and girls should have their hair in two braids with Tsuji ribbons at the end. Um, here are some example pictures of uniform that is not, poor, uh, that is not properly worn. Um, on the left, we can see that Nathan does not have his belt and his shirt is not tucked in his pants. And on the right, we can see that Iris does not have her hair in two braids. Um, here we have uh, example pictures of properly worn uniform. As we can see, both um, people have their uh, shirt, white pants, belt, um, white socks, white shoes, and also uh, their shirt is tucked into their pants. And we can see on the right here that Amber has her hair in two braids. And now I'll be passing it back to Nathan. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. So I'd also like to add on that the uniforms are very symbolic. 
They represent Suji. And um, for when we go to nursing home visits, sometimes we're referred to as the Blue Angels. And when we're going to other relief programs, um, if you're wearing the uniform, people will not question you because your uniform carries the reputation of Tsuji. So when you're wearing the uniform, please make sure to wear it proper, properly and have a um, good attitude, good posture, because remember that you are representing Tsuji. All right, so another policy we, hear, we have at, we hear at, we have at Tsuji is our vegetarian eating etiquette. So essentially, when you're wearing the Sushao uniform, um, please remember to eat vegetarian. That is a requirement. And if you are planning on eating meat after the event, then remember to change your clothes. Also, we highly encourage you guys to use reusable utensils. Um, so at the top right corner, you can see a set of Tsuji reusable um, utensils. So we highly encourage that. Please don't use those uh, Costco what single use water bottles, those are bad for the environment. So yeah. Also our phone rules for this year are slightly different. Um, all we ask is that you silence or turn your phones off and refrain from using your phone during the events. Um, how, however, in person is slightly different. If you use your phone during the events more than twice, um, then your group leader will confiscate your phone and place it in the front of the classroom. Um, you're gonna have to remember to pick that up after class. And uh, I mentioned previously, we have weekly reminders every Thursday. Uh, we send those out through email. So when you register, please remember to use your personal email account and not your school email account. Because if you use your school email account, you won't be receiving these emails. And you will want to receive these emails because in these emails, we have event descriptions as well as sign up forms. Sometimes we also include event photo albums and reflections. So these weekly reminders are our ma main way of releasing information to you guys. Um, so yeah, make sure you use the correct email. Also, we highly encourage you guys to sign up on your own, not do your parents. Um, we want you guys to take initiative, be independent, because being in Sushao requires responsibility. All right, and now I'll be passing the mic off to Josephine, who will be talking about our PVSA guidelines. Oh, so it's a Patrick, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. All right, so uh, for this year, uh, the guidelines are the same as always. If you're 11 to 15 years old, you know, if you get 50 to 74 hours, you can get the bronze PVSA award. Uh, if you get 75 to 99 hours, you can get the silver PVSA award. And if you get 100 uh, or more hours, you can get the gold PVSA award. And uh, around the same thing goes for uh, if you're ages 16 to 25. But uh, instead of uh, 50 to 74, you, know, you have to get 100 to 174 hours for the bronze PVSA award. You have to get 175 to 249 hours for the silver PVC award and uh, more than 250 hours for the gold PVC award. And uh, some requirements for the PVC award, uh, you have to be a U.S. citizen or uh, you know, resident of the United States, which I'm sure most of you are. And uh, also that you have to earn the service hours in a 12 month time period. And that time period for us is uh, April to uh, end of May, I, I mean March. And uh, don't be worried if you are uh, unable to you know, get the uh, gold PVSA award this year, because I'm sure uh, I know a lot of you are pretty new to PVSA and we're at Siji, but uh, you still have a lot of years and uh, a lot of opportunities to try to go for gold. So uh, don't be worried. Next. Thank you. Uh, continuing on, hours from other organizations uh, can be added on to your Siji uh, hours. So I'm sure a lot of you have Interact Club at your school. Uh, if you earn hours in that, you can't add them to whatever you earn in Tsuji. And hours for Tsuji are only awarded through events and weekly reminders that we send or uh, other volunteer opportunities in the parent line group. So even if you were to earn hours in a different Tsuji event, but uh, it probably wouldn't count towards our Tsusha. And that's also the uh, 2021 attendance sheet. So uh, 
we'll email the attendance sheet out every two months. Uh, so, Shaw, you're responsible to check your own hours. Uh, if you do actually find something wrong with, <clears throat> sorry, if you actually do find something wrong with the hours that you earned, uh, please be sure to email Sushal uh, if you found any mistakes. Uh, send your name, grade, and your date, like the date you signed, back to Inland Sushal so we can fix your hours. Uh, try to email us yourself um, because normally, if you were the one emailing instead of your parents, you know, we would uh, we would respond faster. We would get the emails faster. Yeah. <laughs> Slide. Uh, so this was uh, the previous year's PVSA award for 2020. Uh, you can see the uh, silver, uh, bronze, and gold medals on the screen. Um, and uh, along with the PVSA award, you also get a nice uh, signature of the president of the United States. Uh, you have a uh, Trump signature in the background there, plus Christopher yeah. who got his uh, gold PVSA for 2020 uh, last year. And um, remember that uh, you're not only in CG to get, you know, uh, the gold PVSA award, or you're not really aiming just to get the PVSA award, all right? You gotta actually be compassionate about what you do and uh, actually care about CG and not just think about only for hours and only for the award. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see who can collect all the president's uh, certificate, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Um, Moving on to our event intro, we'll be going over some of our more popular events as well as um, uh, some of the events more specific to this year. So in past years, these are some of the in-person events. Um, there is a possibility that if we get an update, we might be returning to in-person. But for now, um, I just want to show you, show you guys what we normally do. So I section these off by based on the four missions of Tsuji, which are charity, culture, environmental protection, and medicine. So under charity, um, the first one I listed was nursing home visits. So during nursing home visits, um, normally we have uh, a variety of activities, including like performances, like sign language. Sometimes we have the music ensemble perform. Uh, we also do some simple physical exercises just to keep those the seniors there company and to brighten up their days. Um, and now I'll be inviting Chris to give some insight on our food distribution event. So before the pandemic, our food packing event did not exist and our food distributions took place at Indian Springs High School. People would walk in and line up while smiling tzisaos Sikus and Sipos placed food into their boxes and baskets. We also performed sign language and read stories to children while they waited. Thanks. Thank you, Chris. And um, on the right hand side, we have the mission of culture. Um, so there are Iron Chef and the tea ceremony. During Iron Chef events, um, basically, we go into different groups um, and we sort of compete. It's a friendly competition and in the, we have a couple of preparation days beforehand and on the day of cooking, um, you know, we do our stuff, we cook and then we have, we uh, present the food to the judges and then they determine who gets the awards. So it's a very fun event and it also teaches about vegetarian eating. Okay, and then for the tea ceremony, essentially what we do is we learn to prepare tea and to serve tea. Um, under the mission of environmental protection, um, first I'll be inviting uh, Melody to give some insight on the Heal the Bay event. Yes, yeah, so the Heal the Bay event is an event that a lot of Chista look forward to. And what happens is everyone goes together in a bus to a beach and we clean up the beach and learn more about environmental protection. And it's just a really fun day where you get to help make the beach a little cleaner and you also get to hang out and play with your fellow Chisal members afterwards. And it's definitely one of our more unique events and overall something that all the Chisal really enjoy doing. 
Thank you, Melody. And we also have the creek cleanup. Essentially, we go on a short hike uh, near the Tsuji San Dimas campus, and we pick up trash, uh, make the, uh, sort of beautify the area. And at the same time, you can hang out with friends. So that's also a very fun event. And then on the under the mission of medicine, we have medical outreaches. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, we hold free medical clinics. Um, we work with various uh, medical professionals from acupuncturists to um, uh, family physicians um, and other professionals of that in that area. So if you're interested in pursuing a career in medicine, definitely consider um, taking part in this event. Now moving on to current events, um, which include the food distribution and packing event, as well as veggie cooking, and lastly, the Tsushao monthly events. So now I'll be passing the mic off to Chris. So food packing and distribution are part of the mission of charity, which includes providing food, clothing, shelter, and financial assistance. So these two events occur on a monthly basis. Packing is every third Saturday of the month and usually lasts from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And this is where we pack dry and wet goods for the distribution next day. The distribution event is now in drive through format and usually lasts from 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. So these two events will take place next week. The food packing event will be on the 18th at the San Dimas Campus Recycling Center. And the distribution event will be on the 19th at, the, at Juan, Juanita B. Jones Elementary in San Bernardino. More details can be found in our weekly reminder. So be sure to follow the guidelines. Now I'll be handing it to Melody, who will be covering our veggie cooking events. Thank you, Chris. So our veggie cooking classes are from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturdays. And it's where a lot of shikus and shibos who are really good chefs come and teach us how to make yummy vegetarian dishes. And this takes place on Zoom. And this event incorporates the missions of education and environmental protection. Um, some examples of foods that we've made are pizza, sushi, daifuku mochi, and many more delicious dishes. I personally really enjoyed attending these events and making lunch for my family. And cooking is a great skill to learn, as a lot of us will be going to college in the future. So next, I'll pass it on to Josephine for our monthly events. Hi guys, so our CISA monthly events or bi-weekly events on Zoom are going to be most reflective of our in-class events that we do on our San Dimas campus. And these are going to be uh, unique events every couple of months. And most of the time they may be centered around a holiday, um, a current event or a Tsuji ethics, something like that or they may be something that's reflective of a past event that we used to hold in person and have remade onto an online format. Uh, we tend to have these to be hosted by a different CISAO officer every month just to give them that sort of experience while everyone else can sort of dive deep into their own personal style of leadership. Um, our events also include teamwork and participation from all of our CISAO members. Um, so we can actively sort of interact with each other and really just um, participate in our events and really bring everything together. And I'll be um, passing it on back to Nathan for our events. Thank you, Josephine. And moving on to our Inland Social special programs. So um, the first of the programs we're going to talk about is the, the Social Music Ensemble. So just some background information. Before quarantine, the ensemble performed at nursing homes, global team of conferences, and the Buddha bathing ceremony and many other events as well. And after the pandemic hit, we decided to record pieces which are now posted on Inland Sishal's YouTube channel. 
This year, we're taking another step forward by working with a Venezuelan conductor by the name of Jorge. And he's a very accomplished conductor who has won various international competitions and worked with well-known orchestras such as the Colburn Conservatory Orchestra. So we're very excited to improve the ensemble under his instruction. If you're interested in joining the ensemble, please sign up using the link in the weekly event reminders. And please also note that you must have at least three years of experience on your primary instrument to join. And now I'll be passing the mic off to Melody, who will be talking about our TSTT program. Thank you, Nathan. Our TS TSTT stands for Chisa Tutoring Team. And the purpose of this program is to provide English tutoring services to students in rural Taiwan. And this semester, we'll be collaborating with a school on Penghu Island, which is near the coast of Taiwan. And essentially, the program works on a set schedule with one session every Sunday, and then the mentors will sign up for each time slot for the session. And in the past, the Penghu project has been very successful, and we do encourage all Chisa to join. The sign-up form will be in the weekly event reminders that are emailed out, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. And next, I'll pass it on to Josephine for journalism. Hi guys, again, so this is our TSISA uh, journalism program, which I'll be a uh, uh, co-editor uh, in chief with Amber, our secretary, and our main primary focus is to build skills uh, within research and writing. So if you have been a past editor or writer for us, you know exactly what that means. Um, and essentially we will provide a major focus activity, mostly for those interested in journalism, sociology, law, or any other activity that you're interested in. This is particularly helpful if you're doing something similar in class or even for college um, admissions or just future majors. We take everything on a rolling basis and we set um, our own deadlines and topics for you and it's individually crafted and multiple people will be assigned to an editor who will help you out with your admissions. Um, once we have compiled enough, we plan on publishing a virtual or a written magazine um, onto a paper format and we hope that you guys uh, join us. Uh, just to clarify for all of our programs for TSTT and for orchestra, uh, these are um, not required. Uh, these are things that if you want to, you can really sign up for and you most likely will earn hours for your time and space, but uh, we really appreciate that you guys take your extra time to join our SISAP program. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. 